unemployed but finishing a dissertation in education. So that allows them growing a baby and taking care of a couple nice. of days. So um, that's what I do now. Uh, and you've been an educator? And I've been an educator. So I started as an um, early childhood educator and then an elementary school educator and then hit myself on the head and thought this is a good idea to get a school license and a PhD. <laughs> so I've been working in teacher education for the last eight years. Wow. Okay. So, yeah, so when I'm not wearing this shirt, I wear a Goddard shirt. So I'm also faculty at Goddard College. Yay, Goddard College! And so we are working to support. So now I feel like I spend a lot of time really trying to support schools and young people who, are, who I was fortunate enough to be around to support the facilitation of their voice in schools so that schools can be engaging and safe and healthy, productive places. And by the way, when Manual High School started um, to go into that space in Denver Public Schools where it was, it, it, it was clear it was going to be closed, um, I did go down to Denver Public Schools and I said, I want to do an action research project. And nice. I want to follow the students. I want to see where they're going to end up. Yep. And I was the door slammed in my face too. And because they said, what's an action research project? I said, first of all, how do you not know what an action research project is? But that's what <laughs> <laughs> And I did. I said, you know, these, you know, all these students are going to be fine. They're all going to be. And I said, you know, I'm not trying to be negative because I'm not that kind of person. But I want to know where every single one of those students are going to be closing their school. And I live across the street from that school. I care about what happens to that school. And this is just, you know, so it's not, so it's young people's voices. It's also your advocates' voices. There was an agenda. There was a political agenda. So that we finished the political agenda at TILA. And we, we realize that it's a little bit of a Tai Chi move, that we, we have all these, these resources, we have um, learning management systems, online systems, we have a, a community of wonderful people and relationships that we can support teachers, to support teachers to, be, to keep their courage and to keep their self-awareness so they can stand their ground and stay in schools and help move them out of toxic places into places of health and engagement. So that's, Thank you. Okay, so in order to kind of bring it together, because we actually have a limited time, but I would highly encourage you guys to talk. Yeah, there's a lot of Because you guys do, I mean, and have done work in Denver, mm -hmm. and you know the political scene and all the dynamics, and um, for what I know of your guys' organizations, um, you guys do similar work, and um, with that, you guys should know about each other. Stronger. You're stronger together. So anyway, what I was going to ask um, for the last, I think, I think it's about ten minutes. Maybe it's a little bit less than that. <laughs> so <laughs> um, I was thinking about um, what if we generated a list because this is the vision sort of um, day. I'm wondering if we could generate a list of things that, um, given your guys' experience, what, especially from you all, students. Um, what you see as the future of teacher education and student education. Like what mm -hmm. sort of, like what would it look like or like what sort of characteristics would it build in people? Um, and yeah, so then we can kind of see common ground and threads and that sort of thing. So I was going to, um, maybe I'll just write it down uh, mm -hmm. and then I'll write it up on something so that it can be visual and used for future conversations and Partnerships definitely. Yeah. Um, Unity first. Focus diversity. on student voice, like which we're moving in that direction. I mean, the fact that the state is recommending districts to use student perception surveys, or that Bill Gates put out the mat and put the emphasis on how important student perception surveys are. I think that's moving in that direction, but I still don't think schools operate under focusing on what students need in each as every single individual. 
so I, one thing I would say is it's cool is focused on the why. So have you guys seen that video, the TED Talk, Simon, what's his name? Simon. He talks Simon. about Apple. Yeah, he talks about the why and how the most effective businesses, organizations, whatever, it's those who focus on the why, not necessarily the how or the what. And I think all of our schools currently operate under the what are you going to do after college or how are you going to get there, but not why. Mm -hmm. There's also a great TED Talk. I think it's like something paradigms, like school of paradigms or something like that. And it's, it talked about like the like history of school, but also like of what needs to happen. And, and is it Ken Robinson's talk? I think so. Yeah, something the last one was just telling me that. Yeah. yeah, that's a good, I would check that out. But not just like I think right. students, yeah. I think community needs to be. Mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. like it's, it's getting parents involved and getting like, People who, who don't even have kids, get them involved. Because they're like, well, why should we pay our tax dollars to school? Like, why yes. should I pay like for the school that's failing? And, and it's not necessarily like why you should do it. It's like you're part of this country and you're part of the system. And you should because you're a citizen. And, it's not, it's not, and I think this idea of being a citizen has gotten lost in translation. Everyone thinks that because they were either born in America or became a citizen of America, they they have the right for everything, but I think being a citizen means so much more. It's being like having a voice and doing work for the community and like being part of this service and not just like having this special right. I think. Can I ask student wise, can you guys name like one or two words that would be involved in education in your ideal situation? Your vision of ideal Like what if? Like what if? Like the what if guy, like if you haven't met him yet. That it would be changed or that it would encourage change? The words would be changed. Change. If you could just pick one word. Okay. Change. Switch. One word, two words. Oh, okay. Helps. All right. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think I would say knowledge because I think like, um, Students should know what's like working and like um, know what isn't working so that they know how to change. Like knowing the knowledge, like you know, like the fact that we have we watched the video two million minutes and the fact that like India has more um, honor students than the United States has students. And like that China is the um, number become the number one like English speaking country. And the United States is like students should know that, so that they know that they should keep working hard. And like I think that right now in education, all of the injustices and all of that is just being like hidden from us. Mm -hmm. And I think knowledge would really empower the students. Mm -hmm. um, the work for me right now, like, only come up with equality. Um, I think students and teachers should work together. Um, with each other, not for each other. Um, I would be like make a difference. Do you need schools? Um, my word would be wisdom because some of us are some of us students and teachers are doing stuff just because we have to, and they're not using the wisdom behind doing what they're supposed to do. So. Uh, I'd say. I'm an English major, so it's hard to keep to two words. Um, <laughs> compassion. She's uh, yeah. <laughs> compassion, love, and unity. Um, I'd also say unity, okay. because we all need to be one. We all need to work together and get it done. Just for plans, they like to sell stole mine. Like, seriously, <laughs> they, seriously, I just wanted them. But, they were all on the same page. Yeah, there so, is unity. Yeah, so within that unity, there's diversity. I don't feel like diversity is very much valued these days. And without diversity, you cannot have unity. You can't have unity because uniformity is definitely not what unity is. Once everybody appreciates their differences and the things that they do get along or do like together, I think we'll be more better off because no one on this planet will ever Actually, let's just continue around. Um, it's hard to act to follow. Uh, I'm just going to say democracy. 
all this, way, but I, I would go with uh, maybe shift, um, as far as the shift of um, both thinking, but a way of doing things and of understanding. Oh, a lot of it's been said. Uh, I think the thing that I would want to see included, though, is inquiry. What? We, were, we just had a fascinating conversation with a student from Taiwan. Um, Eileen, who was telling us about her experiences doing problem-based learning and really the value of students keeping their passion for and curiosity for delving into new things. So I would want to see that included as well. Can I add in Kevin? Still. Great. You guys, thank you so much. And I'm sorry that that was just... Wait! Bam! Um, so I... <laughs> 